Hi Cancer, this is your February 13th through February 19th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly's reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk to you about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Four of Cups, we have Death, clarified by the Six of Swords, um, we have uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, and we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Taurus on the table. Well, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. right? I usually go with a king or queen or both if uh, one or both show up. So we got this king of cups in the middle. Um, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. I don't think that's you unless they are another Cancer <laughs> just like you. But this is the person coming into your life. For some of you it's going to be their second attempt. And here's the deal. There's a twist to this story, as you can probably already tell. The first card I came out is the Four of Cups. This is where the twist comes in. And here are the scenarios I see, right? The Four of Cups could be a rejection that um, you're basically rejecting another person, right? If you're dealing with two people, you're rejecting another person and moving forward with this King of Cups instead. For others of you, perhaps if you're just dealing with one person, this King of Cups, you rejected them in the past. Or if this is a brand new person coming into your life, your initial reaction is going to be, uh, no, access denied. Be probably because something about them is just not in line, not up to your standards, right? And there's nothing wrong with standards, right? I encourage standards, <laughs> by the way. So perhaps um, after this initial rejection, this person is going to come back and uh, they're going to change quite a few things about themselves, right? Perhaps they're going to clean up nicely. <laughs> Perhaps they will get a job or they will get their own place. They'll get a car. They'll do this and that. They will lose some weight. I don't know. But something about this person is going to change and uh, when they come back to you with the new upgraded offer, so to speak, you'll be like, now we're talking. Now you mean business. Now you're showing that you care. Not Now you're showing that uh, you're not uh, some wishy-washy individual, right? So those are the scenarios I see, okay? So yeah, death right next to the Four of Cups could be a Scorpio, right? If this King of Cups is a Scorpio, it makes total sense. Death is a Scorpio major kind of card. But death could be... Um, if you reject one of the people, if you're dealing with two people, then obviously it's the end of, uh, this is you terminating that connection between yourself and that other second person. Or if you're dealing with just one person, this King of Cups, something is going to change, right? Because they got rejected, because it's, you didn't like something about them, they're going to change just for you. Right? They're going to make a, few, a whole bunch of adjustments about themselves. Right, The Six of Swords clarifying death. If you're dealing with one person, this is them coming back to you in an improved <laughs> way. Or if you're dealing with two people, this is you moving forward with this King of Cups. Yeah, uh, you're moving forward with this King of Cups either way. They're clarified by the Ace of Cups. Right, So they do love you. The Ace of Cups is genuine, authentic love. Right? In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the, the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, and we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I think that Ace of Swords belongs to you, Cancer. You're the judge and the jury, right? So with that Ace of Swords, this is you with a verdict. Either you, if you're dealing with two people, you're deciding uh, to move forward with this King of Cups. If, you, if this King of Cups is coming back all improved, all shiny <laughs> and loving, then you're going to be like, all right, all right, so now you mean business. Now we're talking. Okay, and uh, the Two of Cups in the middle, this is you and the King of Cups. There's two people in the Two of Cups. That's you and them, right? It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people feeling the same way towards one another. The Hierophant right next to the deck could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is a card of, uh, you know, something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card. The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, and I believe that's you in that Nine of Cups. The only thing that person is missing is a bucket of popcorn. So you're going to be so satisfied, so fulfilled that everything worked out just the way you envisioned it, just the way you want it. Alright, so yeah. 
an interesting story, uh, Cancer. You can always leave me a comment, let me know how this exactly plays out for you, but I'm not even going to do an extended for you. I think it's, it's a done deal. It's just there is a couple of hoops to jump through for this uh, <laughs> King of Cups or <laughs> through, uh, you know, for, in regards to the situation. And after that, there's, uh, there's definitely a smooth sailing forward. All right, really happy for you, Cancer. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this prayer is for you. We have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Devil. We have Justice and uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Well, I got to be honest with you, uh, Cancer. It's uh, not, a, not a happy reading, okay? I see two things here. This is either a divorce or a separation or one of you is going into a rehab or going through a... Um, an, an AA program or whatever that program is called. Okay, that's what I see here. Either a divorce or a separation, filing for a divorce or a separation, or rehab. Okay, yeah. The Ten of Swords, the first card that came out, is a card of an abrupt ending. So something's got to stop, something's got to end. Okay, the Nine of Wands, uh, the next card over is clarified by the Devil. The Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, the Devil could be a very toxic situation or an addiction okay the nine of wands that the devil is clarifying is a card of a wounded warrior so one of you is definitely feeling this way this is also a card of somebody who is putting up a wall between themselves and the person they're dealing with so yeah the devil again could be a toxic person toxic situation right toxic marriage toxic environment or an addiction you know drinking using gambling what have you so here comes the justice card right next to the deck. Justice could be the government, right? Somebody could be literally ordered to go into a rehab, or it could be that 12-step uh, program that somebody is going to be admitted into, or justice is filing for a divorce, filing for separation. The will of fortune right next to the deck is the start of a cycle. So once this is all set and done, it will launch a new cycle. That's what I have, Cancer. All right. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Tower, the Nine of Swords, the Chariot, clarified by the Two of Wands, and we also have the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any Zodiac sign. As a matter of fact, the only major Arcana card we have on the table is the Chariot, and that is your major Arcana card, Cancer. And your card came out last, so I think you will be you'll have the last word, you'll have the decision to make. Speaking of decisions, the two of ones clarifying the charity is a card of a choice, okay? Um, so here's the deal. If somebody, this is what I usually tell people when I see spreads like this, especially with the Tower and the Nine of Swords. The Tower is a card of a destruction, um, you know, and the Nine of Swords is somebody who is devastated, okay? The Page of Ones on the bottom of the deck is a message coming from that person. I don't know what they want to do, but uh, if they are a fire sign, it's simply a message from a fire sign. If they're not, they're flirting with you, they just want to, perhaps just, they're not being serious about you. Okay? The two of ones, that is still your decision right there. So what I usually say in situations like that, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they will do it again. If you know for a fact that this person is a player, if they are all over the place, if they sneak around, if they cheat, if they go to parties, things like that, then, uh, you know, it'll be a crap show all over again. It will be. Okay, so make your decision based on this information and what they did to you. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this week. We have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, and we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. You're going to be dealing with this Queen of Wands. You already know this person. Okay, it could be a fire sign. Or, when it comes to work, business, and finances, it could have been a colleague, or a co-worker, or somebody who was your business partner. Somebody who could perhaps got you a job. Okay, so here's the deal. I see a few scenarios. <laughs> the Five of Swords, the first card I came out, this is when people sever ties. 
in an ugly way. So it could have been you and this queen on one severing ties in, the, in an ugly way in the past or somebody quitting their job or somebody getting fired with that five of swords. Okay, the six of cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And uh, it all depends on your situation. Perhaps this Queen of Wands just got fired and uh, they're going to be reaching out to you asking if you got a job for them. Or it could be the other way around. If you already got laid off, I'm not predicting you losing your job. If you already lost your job, then it already happened. It could be you reaching out to them asking if they could help you with a job. Or um, it could be somebody reaching out to you from your old job right, and asking you to come back. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication and travel. Then we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords could also be travel, or it's, uh, you know, the fastest cards. It's the fastest knight out of all four knights. So this offer, either, either need, this needs to be addressed as quickly as possible, or there could be a hot offer on the table. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles clarifying it is a card of work, business, and finances. So, yeah, um, I don't know what you're going to do. The Five of Swords, yeah, like I said, it is a card of uh, somebody getting fired, somebody getting laid off, or a major fight. But it's in the past, all right? The fi it's the first card that came out. This already happened, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week. Cancer. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Star, the Three of Cups, and uh, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or any Zodiac sign. You know what? It could be the same story as we saw in the first spread, the new love spread. I did not want to clarify anything because this looks so good. I didn't want to, I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> right? It could be that same story. But for others of you, um, if uh, you have an Aquarius, in your life. It could be an invitation to their birthday party because we're in the middle of the Aquarius birthday season. It's actually wrapping up. But perhaps they, you're going to be invited to an Aquarius birthday party and I think you should go because something about that birthday is going to you know, change your life. You're gonna have, you will receive a golden opportunity offer at that birthday party. I don't know if it's coming from an Aquarius or it could, could, could be coming from somebody else, but if you do go, something about that birthday is going to be, uh, you know, that's how those two aces will play out. That's, that's what I'm trying to see, it's to say. Right, so you got, yeah, you got two aces, all right, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Okay, the star could be an Aquarius or it's a wish come true, something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. The Three of Cups is a card of a celebration, it's a card of a reunion, um, or it's um, a card of um, just, you know, feeling good. You'll have a reason to celebrate because you got two aces coming your way. So those two aces, it's probably the same offer. It's just a way of the universe to show you that, yes, this is the real deal. It's the real offer. It's something long-term, something very loving, something very emotional, something that will make you celebrate. It is a wish come true. And that's what you're not expecting. <laughs> Cancer. All right? So that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.